guys, it's Hailey. Welcome back to the channel. So I am working from home today and I just had brekkie with ramen because you know when you're home you don't want to really do anything. You don't have to uh, cook up anything special. So I just had my ramen and I just thought that it would be interesting to show you um, the kind of ramen that I have in my pantry because the one that I had in the morning is one of my favorites. So um, just to give you a small heads up before I show you the pantry is that it's very messy I haven't had the time to really like clean up and honestly my mom is arranging everything so I don't want to you know touch anything and upset her um, yeah so just wanted to tell you that it's very much real and nothing is staged so a little yeah small warning before you go in so let me show you my pantry uh, Okay, so this is my pantry, um, very real as I said. So here we have one, two, three, six, uh, four, five, six, uh, and then over here, seven types of ramen. Um, these are the types of ramen that we usually stock up. Um, there may be, you know, plus one or two more that we stock up, but this is basically our favorite. And this is what I had in the morning. And this is something pretty special um, because it's non-spicy uh, ramen which is unusual because everything that Korea has to offer has um, some sort of pepper, pepper paste in it so it's pretty special. Um, this is to mimic uh, a beef broth um, in Korea. It's called gomtang. So basically, it's a broth that's been boiled for a very long time, sometimes 10 hours or more, um, using beef. And I usually really love the soup. Um, it's good for your stamina, good for energy. So a lot of people um, have it when they are hungover or when they need, you know, some good energy. And this ramen I thought was suitable for my breakfast. And then. The next one is also one of my favorite. Actually, um, that one in the blue packaging is better than this one. Uh, but basically, they are the same kind of different brands. It's called Pibimyeon, Pibimyeon which is basically mixed noodles. Uh, and what it is, is noodles without any soup. And it's with spicy, uh, spicy and sour, sweet and sour spicy paste um, you have it cold which is a little different from all other types of noodles out here um, but yeah this is I think a lot of Korean people's favorites during especially like summertime because it's sweet and sour and cold um, this one has 20% more than 20% more noodles than that blue packaging but I think that is that has like 70% of the market share so it's like very popular and I love that and I'm just going to show you that in a while well we got this type as well because um, this one without soup feels like it's not enough for one serving so we tend to have uh, two packages of uh, the blue one so it might be better to just have one which has like 20% more uh, noodles in it. As you can see, this has some apple, I guess not sauce per se, but apple, apple juice in it. So it's very sweet and sour. Very good with some boiled eggs, um, cucumber, and have it in cold. One of my favorites of all time. Um, and then next to it, we also have another type of ramen that is without soup called chapagetti, which is black noodle, Korean version of black noodle. Um, you also have it without any soup, and then it's supposed to be like Chinese Korean style. Um, yeah, that one. And then this one is also pretty special because it's without any sauce. And so basically, this is just fried noodle that you boil and then that becomes noodle, right? And the reason why we have it is that we don't have it on its own. We have it in our main dishes like jjigae or soup. And then we also have it in some of our like 
boiled and stir fried dishes because we just love to have ramen as topping in all our dishes. So um, even our family stock up that virgin, um, just like blank fried noodle to um, add as topping to our dishes and it's always in our pantry. Um, another one that I will show is first this one because this is one of the most classic um, ramen of all time, Jin Ramen. This is very similar to Shin Ramen, which is famous um, abroad and the most popular kind and the most accessible. This has like, I think, thicker broth and so there is more depth to the taste whereas Shin Ramen, I feel like, is more of a like spicy soup that's not, that's not like deep enough, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's not thick enough, I feel. But this one is just the right amount of, I think, diversity in the taste. It's more very tasteful. And then the broth is thicker, so you feel like it's, it's more of a dish rather than instant food. Um, this is of a spicy version, but again, this is less spicy than Shin Ramen, so I really like it. Ramen is such a humble food and they've collaborated this packaging with Juan Miro, one of the most famous painter of all time. So something interesting and I guess it brings ramen to the next level. Um, yeah, so that's my favorite ramen with soup, Jin Ramen. I think you can remember this brand pretty easily the cheeky guy logo last ramen that i'm going to show you is o ramen the o ramen this i think is actually mediocre but the reason why we have so much of this at home is because this is cheaper than most other ramen this ramen that i showed you is standard pricing so even though they might differ in price a little bit they are usually about 80 cents to one dollar one pack in one package but o ramen is a lot cheaper so it's about 50 cents per packaging to like 80 cents really so it's a lot cheaper and i mean i just said it's mediocre but it's nothing bad there's i guess nothing special to it but there's nothing bad about it really so our family has a big stock of o ramen these are ramen that are not readily available abroad but i still wanted to show you because these are more varieties and very different from the ones that you might easily get and so i just you know wanted to show you that there are different types and varieties and if you have a chance i'm sure i'm almost sure i'll, I'll google and then um write in the description box below but i'm pretty sure you can find them online and ship them to your country if you like um so yeah i just thought that you might like to try out so these are my favorite Korean ramen of all time and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or if you have any comments or if you have any burning questions on what my favorite Korean food is or you know anything else about Korea or anything else in general, do let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!